A little bit of a slide right now for the Hokies who have lost seven of their last eight with their only win since January 25th, coming the day after Valentine's Day. Here's Diakite, their leading scorer, 13 points a game, and he arcs it right over the top of Ojiako for the game's first two points. Coach this year in a very different roster for the Hokies, but yet they still get a big portion of their scoring from beyond the arc, almost 42%. And game of the game, the freshman worms his way to the rim. Second largest halftime deficit since they joined the ACC. Not a gas tank full kind of game for the Hokies as Braxton Key puts Virginia up two. Roll to Tensai, guarded by Couture, and as he cuts to the basket, he finds Clark, who loads up for three in the corner. Radford with three defenders around him. Grabs the loose ball, sticks it up, and in. Everybody says you want to pass that ball around. Yeah, that sounds great. Conventional wisdom is usually reserved for conventional results. Diakite wide open from the block. I love those guys. They're just looking for three-point opportunities every single time down floor. Just got to be able to defend. Nobody there to help on Kihei Clark. I got plenty of rule changes, don't you worry. Block charge is, the, is my biggest. We need to get high school to have a universal oh, shot clock. God, 42 buddy. states to go. There we go. Yeah. Usually they hedge so hard, they bounce you out top. BD able to just turn the corner and get a shot up. Statman lights it up from three. three For the maroon and orange has been insufficient thus far, leading to the largest lead of the night for the Cavaliers. Nolly for three. And if he gets going, look out. Mm. And that has been the added level of offense this year for Mamadi Diakite that has made him even more dangerous. And he's a guy who's at his best when he takes what comes his way. Clark off the screen. Nobody got back for Diakite, and he makes the Hokies pay with a three. Timeout, Virginia Tech. Virginia was more in the conversation of a bubble team versus now where they are safely into the field, according to Joe Lenardi, with today's bracketology. So much of a focus on defense. You're not pushing it in transition. A lot of those are swing, swing, not really drive and kick threes. How about that finish at the basket from Ojiako? You drive it and have good interior passing, you're going to have opportunities. Because, again, the eyeballs follow the basketball. Diakite short corner when he's been open, he's been hot. And that, John, is ice cold. I don't even know where to go. With it's it. outcast. Morsell gets the reverse lane. You didn't want to indulge at all. They lost at Louisville on February 8th. Four straight wins against Notre Dame, North Carolina, BC, and Pitt. Not the top half of the league right there. We'll see Duke, though, on Saturday on ESPN. They figured out who they really are, and they figured out to find ways to win. And Walda Tensai became a big-time scorer as he hits the three, his first made field goal of the day. Thomas Walda Tensai just makes the read, comes to the ball. Nolly put Braxton Key on his back and scores. He's got five. Nolly shares with Radford. The drive, the finish, and the foul. The pass wasn't there on the baseline. It was going for a shot. It was going to be heavily contested. Key curls off. A short corner fade splashes in. And isn't that surprising knowing that the action is imminent? Yeah, I mean, you got nine seconds on the shot clock. You're going to take the first best shot. 20 seconds remain for Virginia. Quick shots are great offensive rebounding opportunities. Defense is scrambling. That's just too easy. That's that pick and roll situation. I'll tell you. I would go to it every single time down floor. On the marker board on the Virginia Tech bench, the play call appeared to be PH3. That's low acidity, right? Oh, God. <laughs> well, it ends up with number three. Mike Cousins, John Crispin, thanks for being with us tonight here in Blacksburg. LSU and Florida will follow in the SEC tonight. Key waits it out and gets the bucket. No whistle. Radford backs in. Horn lets it fly. And hits from three. Since 1967 against ECU and the fewest in this series since 1946. Jay Huff.
is in and scoring right away off the bench. Just see Rashid Wallace out there screaming. <laughs> Huff with a rejection. 50 some 60 shots a game, even on a, on a, on a good one. Giving up on average 53 points a game this year, first in the country. Couture has it wiped away by Diakite. Amadi Diakite, one of the best in the country. He is on the back. I want to see the best players on the best team to fill out those, those first team all ball, you know, all, all ACC. But I, I think Mooney's got to be there. You think about what? 13 rebounds a game? The lowest in any game since Virginia Tech joined the ACC. There's three from Couture. Without letting him do that, they've been without a point for more than four minutes now. There's no space there. I mean, look, you make that shot, but that's not an easy shot. There's no room to work. Principles apply, but you make it easy for the defense. Cohen just got his first points. He can score in a flurry. Tech down six and looking for more. Let go. Got to attack. Horn. Yes! Jay Huff, not a great free throw shooter either, sitting on the bench right now for UVA. Cohn, another three! He's have lost seven of eight. Virginia has won four straight and seven of eight. Couture for three, he's got it! And the Hokies have the lead for the first time tonight. Rejected by Nali, but Diakite keeps the effort consistent. Here comes Clark off the baseline screen. He gets another from Diakite. Cone right on his hip. Wow. And Kihei Clark pulls Virginia within one. When you have a bad possession that was an offense or offensive charge, you got to have a good one to follow. Statman, the drive, the kick to the corner, and a three for Morsell to put Virginia up. Five on the shot clock. Couture for three and missed everything. Clark off a couple of ball screens to the corner for Morcell. He sends it way long. Gonna get grabbed for turning the corner, getting into the paint with shooters around the wing. Kihei Clark swoops back a three. It's good with 2.1. One shot for overtime for the Hokies. In for Nolly, a dribble and a heave. And the Cavaliers are victorious in Blacksburg, scoring eight of the final ten and a dagger to win it from Kihei Clark.